Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was craving a mini disc bound setup. So what I did was I shot my stash and see what I had. I first started with my cover, which is a print impression traveler's notebooks um, that I got from a friend and she gifted to me um, the notebook last year and I thought it was perfect for like springtime. I cut down the edges right there, as you could see, so I can just kind of slide it in the back. I do have a piece of paper because it is a traveler's notebook, and I really love this whole purple theme. So I already had the shell of the mini disc bound kind of like set up from, it was like a notebook. So I kind of cut the little things off so I can slide it in there. I needed a pin loop, so I put an adhesive pocket. I used um, one of my old pin loops. This was probably from like a, another setup. I put the Sarasa pin in there. I put this Dutch Brothers sticker and then two little masking sticker things to kind of like decorate that. And you can't tell that that is kind of like not stuck on the actual leather or whatever. I don't think this is leather. So I've got this little card somebody gave me. So I just put some clear tape on the uh, front dashboard. Now this mini disc bound is turned the other way around. I think it said being rad or simply rad or whatever that was. That was like the front part. So I just kind of like turned it around. Um, I put a full pocket right here that I get at Amazon in different sizes. And then I kind of cut it to like a secretarial and put one of those little list pads from happy planner my little name i have no idea who made that a long time ago but i think i took it from legalized glitters page <laughs> we share the same name so um i have like this little dashboard someone gave me i put some post-it notes so what i'm gonna do now is i have a bunch of mini happy planners that i bought i think last year when they were on clearance at joann's and um I know people in this community call it like Franken planning or something where you take multiple um, weekly or inserts and then like you put it into one. So I am going to take two weekly inserts and I think later on I do show. I have Stology paper punched in for my kind of brain dump and then here they are. I had these upstairs because I had put them aside because I knew I, or I thought I wanted to do mini disc bound in 2022. Well, all of the months passed. I only had like January through March in that big bundle. So later on, I had to go and find the rest of the TN, I mean, the, the mini disc bound to get April. Because I only have, uh, I'll only put one month in here. So my plan is to have like an inbox, a little sticky area, and, and I'm only using this and playing with this setup because I just wanted to create something. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is if when I create something, I literally just put it back on the shelf. It just allows me to be creative and use my stuff and just kind of have fun, reverse plan, write in it, and just kind of, that. I always do that. So I'm going through these inserts, which I, I now see that I can make a bunch of dashboards if I wanted to out of those because I, I rarely don't ever use the monthly um, multiple times in these inserts. So I find that I can't use these because they're not um, the correct dates. And since I do have 2022 dated inserts in the disc bound, I went to go grab the ones that could possibly have April in it. I do not know the names of these. Um, I know that there are people in the community that knows that know the names. I do not. Um, I'm just simply grabbing what I thought that was nice when I bought it. I think I had it in my drawer in my other my other office. So I am going through this one. There is a horizontal muted this one, that one, so nice muted weekly that i love to use for scripture writing affirmations prayers things of that nature um later on in the video i i write down what i think i want to use it as and i label it personal and i think it is so nice because that dashboard goes right in with springtime so i'm gonna put that one in there and then i'm gonna put a actual i think the layout is called dashboard um for like home so as you know, I categorize, um, you know, like my home things in my main planner. 
I think the dashboard layout is really cute. Um, it's like a week on a page on the right and then it categorizes out the other stuff on the left. So I am going to use um, both of those or at least I put them in here. I have a lot of notebook paper in here because I um, was really just using this mini desk bound as like a little notebook at first just to write ideas and stuff. But it was just sitting on my planner cart and it had like literally no use so i'm going through and trying to find the april in the little dashboard layout as you can see right there and i'm trying to figure out okay what do you want to kind of put that in there for and i decide home so later on i do make tabs for it to say that and i just like having another area or another place where it's like what do you got to do this week for your house? Like there is a ton that I have to do y'all. And oh my gosh, sometimes I have the energy and sometimes I don't. I was talking to a friend um, this past week and she was telling me, she's like, gosh, Monique, I was looking at your stuff that you have to do or what you've been doing. She's like, I don't even know how you're, well, she's kind of telling me that you should kind of be tired. Cause later on in that la this past week, I was like, I am so exhausted. Um, if you're an at-home mom, if you work full-time, if you're juggling both, if you're a single mom, if you're married or what, I mean, parenthood is, is rough, y'all. Um, so I've got that in there. I don't, I wanted, I wanted to leave that little plastic thing in the middle of the week. The whole idea was like get little dashboards that could, or vellums that could be bookmarks in both of those weeks and I don't know why I can't. I need like a clear thing every single time. In between my weeks and any week i especially if it's like rings or disc bound or whatever i need to be able to see my week and not have something in them in um blocking it so i kind of glue that monthly down um for that second dashboard layout so that way i could you know just i don't need the monthly but i find that i kind of glued it wonky because it was having a little bit of problem turning so later on i kind of chop off the part that i didn't glue right so it can go in so as you can see look i'm putting that little black floral thing there and later on i move it because i'm like i don't I, I can't so i think my friend gave me a lot of these notebooks last year just blank paper fields with happy planner stuff so i'm just kind of removing those because i don't need that much paper in here and um i'm trying to make room for you know the inserts that i just put in I love these two little inserts right here for brain dump. I always have like a brain dump in the front and I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to put that. I really love the idea of that little mood tracker or steps um, with the happy planner. You know, I think a lot of planners give that yearly little perspective, but I can never figure out what I want to do for that. So I like that right there. So if I just have like long lists or things I want to get out of my head and I want to use a disc bound to do it. I can use that section. So the astrology paper is my brain dump area. And then there is both of the weekly areas. And then I have notes in the back. Um, I take a little bit more paper out because again, I don't need that much paper. And I really love the decor of those papers. I think Happy Planner did a good job in making the muted kind. So I put that right there thinking, you know, do you want that right there? I think it's somebody gave me that i think it's from like a really thin piece of paper from i think one of sm plans's designs but i find that it doesn't look right so i just kind of take that out so um i'm going to the weekly part and um the dashboard part later i will do like a little bit of planning for next week in using my main planner in the dashboard layout to kind of set the tone for what I want to do for the week next week which I already have in my main planner I, I literally have that in my main planner I again once you have a main planner you can play with and have fun with all of the other different things because you know you have that stuff so um I am just kind of tabbing out but and my daughter's right there because she wants me to write a heart uh, twice I guess in this video I'm actually drawing something for her she's making little cards for her daddy and her bubba and she's wanting me to draw a heart 
And what I did like is that she's like, Mommy, I want to write on my card, I love you, but I don't know how to write it. So I, I had her get out her alphabet, you know, worksheet where it has all of the alphabets on it. And I told her to find the letter and I would spell it out for her. And she ended up making a card with all of the letters. And I was pretty proud of her because um, we're doing letter identification and the sounds of the letters and, you know, been working really hard on it. So it was just one of those moments where I felt like, you know, um, it kind of paid off some. So anyhow, I'm making tabs. These are my main tabs that I use for my main Stology books. They're Avery tabs. You can get them at Walmart. I, I get them all at Walmart. Sometimes I'll get some on Amazon because um, Walmart won't have like those chrome looking ones or those muted color ones. Um, I've gotten some at the PX, which is a military um, shopping place, kind of like a military Walmart. Um, so anyhow, I just grab about four of them because I know I want to label personal, home, notes, and monthly. Um, again, my planner system in a blank, bare, minimum nutshell has to be an inbox, has to be a brain dump, has to be a monthly, daily, weekly, um, and then something faith related so that's what's always been in my rings and everything um all the other stuff is kind of like condensed in a notebook but and when i'm setting up other like little things to play with i always put a monthly in there it's just whether i use it or not i don't know i always have it for reference or i always just use it and it's funny because you know if i feel like i don't want to use this and i put it up because i have three other disc bound mini setups i think they're on my channel they're completely set up but anytime i get creative i want to do something from scratch and new so it's funny because i might just shelf this and just <laughs> it served its purpose right it served exactly what i wanted it to do i wanted it to help me you know stay creative i wanted to film a video i wanted to talk over it i wanted to i get like that every friday or sunday i get like okay what do you want to use for like the following week to have fun in and um b6 is is also speaking to me so i did put up my b6 hobonichi weeks i mean b6 hobonichi cousin um i don't know i just wasn't finding i wanted to use it anymore but now that i did my jenica journals covers and i saw my um b6 um folio and tn i was like ooh, maybe i want to do that so as you see i'm just kind of doing labels and just you know making things and labeling out things that's really important to me is that i find um, my sections and what i'm trying to do so that even if i do take this off the shelf and just use it you know for whatever i know like what what is it here like the sections really help me um you know understand what i'm doing so i think at some point i do grab my main stology and i go ahead and start reverse well no actually this is not going to be reverse planning i start planning out next week on the dashboard layout um i think the dashboard i think happy planner has a lot of different layouts um when you know what a few years ago when they were just showing themselves um I had threw everything away that I had of them because I was so in my feelings and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are racist, what? And I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, once I got out of myself and I figured like, Monique, probably every company you support is racist. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just, you know, me and my, my husband, we were, we were struggling with, well, he wasn't, I was. Um, I don't even know why that's important, but I didn't want to buy, oh, I didn't want to buy any more Happy Planner stuff, but their brightness is my love language. Like, I love bright, flashy things. Like, you know, even in nature and like the way that I am, I like flashy bracelets and rings and nail colors and purses. I'm very girly like that. Flashy shoes, like, like you know, so my planner style is definitely very flashy. So when Joanne's last year had like, 
how my Joann's had the Happy Planners, even the newer year, they had them for like five bucks or seven ninety nine or something. I grabbed like four or five of them. It was crazy. And I just, and I prayed over it because I was like, Monique, what is in your heart? Like, what is going on with you? Like, oh, it was a whole thing. Like, it was just like, I felt like everybody was riding the coattail of the BLM and I was just getting like, really, what is happening? Like, and then everybody was like showing themselves. And obviously this started with the whole George Floyd and, oh my gosh, I was, it was rough. It was rough, y'all. So, you guys know, I'm transparent. I share what I feel and I don't need your commentary on it. Like, honestly, I'm just sharing, um, you know, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. So happy planner. I don't know. I always get in my feelings. Like I'm like, I love their sticker books. Um, but I always like, ugh, sometimes they're super overpriced. I went to, um, Hobby Lobby the other day and I found the big huge mama jamma i want to say it's like those the big sticker book they made where it's like a thousand stickers or something even probably more maybe five thousand i don't know it was so big it was 52 dollars and i was like you are not buying that i was telling one of my friends i was like i'm gonna buy it and i didn't i didn't you know they i was like monique you know you could have used no hobby lobby don't have coupons anymore so they were having sales on 50 agenda 52 for like 40 percent off but not happy planner i was like oh so that's the only thing that really gets me with happy planner but anyway i like to still incorporate them their weeklies in my um or their dailies or some of their products in my stuff because i mean let's be honest it's accessible it's like i can i can find it easily and i'm very impatient when it comes to that kind of stuff um Hence why I don't, when I order from like Gelio or VDS, like from direct, I get like all worked up. Like, oh my gosh, why isn't it here? And even though they're like, hello, it's a 16 week wait or a, I mean, I don't think it's that long, but I think that's for custom or it's a four to six week wait and you know, whatever they say or two weeks. I'm like, even though I know that when I buy it, I'm still like talking mess in my head. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, so here I am. I'm just using my brain dump to kind of just write out what I do need to do. Okay, like wasps and mosquitoes and all the all the bees and all the stuff and the water bugs here in Houston. You know those roaches are freaking huge and they fly. They like to come in from the heat or something. I don't know. And it just drives me bonkers. So we need to spray the backyard. We need to spray inside the house. We need to spray in our chimney or have the people come out because sometimes the bees would like to come in through the fireplace. And oh my gosh, y'all, you don't understand how much I get the heebie-jeebies with that. So I'm writing down just a lot of different things. I need to um, schedule my son's driver's ed. I need to look into swimming classes. I need to buy certain things and call certain things. I need to go see my dermatologist. Like, y'all... I love life. I love my life. I love the. Th I'm so thankful for our portion and what God has done for us and what he continually does. But sometimes I got to get out of my complaining. I complain. I find that I'm complaining a lot and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I got this and this and this and this and this to do. But I am my own worst enemy. I'm like, Monique, you are creating that space and that energy by your words. So... I am thankful that I'm able to even go see a dermatologist or get the things that we need to have. And I mean, get, so I don't know what this video turned into. I think it's just kind of like a venting hour um, while I'm planning. I'm just chit chatting with you guys. Cause at first I was like, Monique, 26 minutes. How the heck are you going to talk for 26 minutes? Why did you film a 26 minute video? I was just going to town on what I was doing for this setup. And then I looked up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so long. So I appreciate you guys just chatting with me and just listening to me um, go on my tangents. But I always love lived in mini disc bound. Um, please don't come for me. Don't get mad. But I hate the whole cloth and paper disc bounds that everybody uses. I'm just like, oh my gosh, stop it. Can you just like do something else? Um, although what's funny is that I like looking at um, people's setups, but I can't do it for long because it's like everybody has the same cloth and paper dashboards. Everybody. 
and and it seems like it hits it really hard with the disc bound ones so when i try when i find ones that are just like truly lived in and functional like or you know not like crazy crazy stickers oh my gosh i really love those i forget her name i think she's like mother of all plants or mw oh my gosh what is her name she has the most functional print pression one um i was just watching her it was i think it's like mwd plans or something like that she puts she talks she talks for like an hour and she has like two videos where she talks like 40 minutes about her inserts and her reasons why she wants to use them and those type of planning videos i really love where they explain and they're just not showing where they bought everything from so it's really hard to oh there i am drawing the heart <laughs> It's really hard to find um, people that have that type of style and do YouTube videos because, I don't know, I think a lot of the mini disc bound videos are just kind of like, oh man, they're, they're, you know, I'm not trying to say mine are fun fantastic because some people are like, what are you doing? You've got too much stickers. I get it, but I mean, I'm not filling the whole page up with stickers. Am I judging? Monique, are you judging? You're judging. Yes, you are. Where's your gavel? Yeah. Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, God. Um. So here I am. I'm just doing my thing. I, I don't even know what the heck I was talking about or why I'm talking about all this. But I guess, like I said, it's like venting hour. It's like Sunday afternoon or what is it? What time is it? Sunday around noon. And I'm setting this up for tomorrow in the morning when you guys watch it. So when you watch this, it'll be Monday. And who knows if all the little plans that I have are even going to come. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. She's having a ball. She's like dancing over here. Sitting completely next to me. I thought she needed something. So, um, yeah. I'm going to enjoy the little mini disc bound. Now, I think I am going to also print some um, inserts that I have for mini disc bound. I could just never get I always forget the setting that I have it on my arc. I always jack it up. So I always have to like do a test one until I figure out um, what arc setting I have. I don't, it's not junior, of course, because the junior, I think on the arc setting is five and a half by eight and, eight and a half by five and a half, half letter. So, and then at that, who knows? I don't even know y'all, but once I figure it out, I'll probably punch some inserts I want to buy some maybe from the planner room shop or Roro Designs um, for mini disc bound and just try to see, you know, some nice daily ones. I think I do have some daily from Supply and Trendico that I like because um, as you could see, I don't really have any dailies in here and I am a daily gal through and through. Oh, my gosh. I live for my dailies and um, I just need to find some good ones. So at this point, I have no idea what I'm doing in the video. I'm probably either talking to my child or um, I don't know. I, don't, I can't even see it what I'm writing because when you're putting a voiceover in iMovie on the phone, you can't see. So, <laughs> Or at least I can't. Um, so I really hope you guys are going to have a great week. You've got some good plans going on if you're working stay encouraged like oh my gosh i know that life i know it's so hard to not 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 have a like a attitude going into the new week like oh my gosh it's monday because we only get like two days for the weekend when you're working so um but hey i i mean it's all good right wait so these these oh my gosh what are these these sticky notes right here those ones that from walmart um mama ma mama of all plans she had them and in her video and i was looking for them in um taylor i was looking for them at walmart and i couldn't find them for the longest i found them and why are they like full adhesive okay i'm gonna stay right here you go ahead and so um i'm writing right there what i plan to do maybe for my weekly scripture writing affirmation um, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. I later moved that little clear thing to the back. I just like to use it for sticky notes. Um, go ahead, honey. Uh, 
um, I like to use it for sticky notes. So I kind of like put it towards the back. I decided, well, maybe you can use that for like a mood tracker kind of thing. But oh my gosh, no, no, Monique, you can't. So anyhow, my friends, I think I am nearing the end of this video. Um, I hope it was kind of cool or fun to... No, I'm not. I'm actually going to write a list. <laughs> You know what they should include in these videos is like a time, like where you are at, at before your video ends, because I am horrible at detecting that. But um, I hope this video was at least some type of inspiration for you to shop your stash, be creative, have fun, um, be you and, and what you like to do. In, in, and even if it's just playing with things and just finding things to do. I hope this was somewhat inspirational. Um, I had made a little highlight reel on my Instagram. It's called Planner Belief. If you follow me there, it's a Jesus and paper. You can go and look through that. And it's kind of like my belief, like do what you want, how you want. Don't let nobody deter you from what you're doing. You know, like if you want to go and like have 5,000 planners, like, like you do your wallets and your shoes, go do it. Like it's, it's, it's too... Wash your hands. It's okay. Don't. It's too much going on in the world for you to not have fun with your planners. And please don't let paper stress you out. Like, so if you want to go ahead and look at that, um, obviously, mom life. My daughter's going potty. Um, go ahead and do that because this is what I try to kind of preach in my videos. Like, oh my gosh, like just do your thing. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know if you stuck around this long, you were an MVP. This is a print pressure cover and it's nice. And thank you, Danny, if you watch for giving it to me. God bless you.